Hi, my lovely people. Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it, and that's what we are here to do. Please don't go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in these videos. It is for entertainment and reaction purposes only. It's my opinion and my opinion only. Now, what is truly going on in the McIntyre household? When I tell y'all we got a lot to catch up on, and I have not been posting like I usually do, but I will be today so that we can prepare for a live. I know I've been saying it, but we got to do it. So let's get caught up. So yesterday, I was really blown back when I looked over on uh, Peach's page. There's a few things that we can talk about. Number one, I know a lot of people were questioning what was going on with YouTube and the payday. Well, I will tell you guys, I don't know what is going on with YouTube. Typically, if it's not a weekend, they do pay on the 21st. And it was, you know, anytime during the day, it could be in the morning, it could be in the night, you just never know. When it came to YouTube, honey, I still have not got my check, but I know they have sent it off. I don't know what's going on. And I am a person, and I very rarely do agree with Peach, right? That if it's mine, I want it. If I put into it, I want it. One thing about Peach I will say is, though, you wouldn't be losing any money. You don't do any editing. You don't do any tools. You don't use no platform. You don't use StreamYard. So for the content creators like myself, who actually pay for things like Canvia and other editing apps and we pay for StreamYard and we put on a show, we would be losing money uh, that we invested into YouTube if we don't get paid. You, on the other hand, would just be wasting time like you do talking on this nonsense. So let's get right into it. Every single time that Peach gets herself caught up or she starts losing money, she always wants to bring God into it. And I don't understand it. And then when a person brings God into something, right? Because she was telling us she's the chosen one, right? That she is above everyone. And God pretty much spoke to her and told her that she was going to be able to do it. And that's why she do it. And then when she <laughs> sits there and misquotes things out of the Bible, like when God extends his hands to you and tell him you to sit next to him. I don't remember in the Bible anywhere, him saying to tell everybody that you stepping on B's and O's neck and that you are better than anyone and that you are just the bomb diggity. And see, she's feeling herself right now. She was first sitting by water because Oh, she was feeling depressed. She had lost her money. She couldn't believe what was going on. And then it's like the day before payday, right? She always gets really, really excited and starts talking all this craziness. And I'm almost thinking that this is the way that God once again humbled you. You're out here misquoting him and you're putting all your eggs, like you say, in baskets that the only way that you can provide for your family is via social media. Your husband don't clock in. You don't clock in. Y'all don't have no backup plan. Y'all didn't hear me get out here. I didn't post at all, but you didn't hear me uh, complaining. Hey, we didn't get paid. First off, that's because I have a nine to five that a lot of people don't believe in. I have a backup plan. You cannot, okay, always depend on an app. If you do not know, YouTube is hard to get a hold of. That's number one. You have to do everything via email. YouTube does not give you a regular old check stub. They show you what you make. They don't take out taxes and they label it as tips and royalties. So if they choose to not give you such tips and royalties, then a lot of these people on this YouTube street would be in a bind that they cannot get themselves out of. That's putting your eggs in one basket. Wasn't she on here earlier? complaining about TikTok not paying. So obviously we can see that there's something going on with these social media apps and everything that they've got going on. So you have to do more. Going out here and getting an attitude and pumping yourself up the day before payday and telling everybody that you're better than them. And then the next day you wake up to nothing in your bank and you already at the casino gambling because you're counting on that money to be deposited so that you can gamble it up more. And <laughs> didn't God show her? Don't uh, get on here blasphemy. Don't get on here and tell people that you better than them and that you doing more than them and that you going to have more than them. I'll show you. You'll wake up and you'll have no paycheck. Now we'll see what you're going to do. Just like you were rambling on and peeping in. Oh, let me put my hands up to my eyes. Where's my check? Where's this? I didn't see a lot of content creators get out here and worry about it. They probably was thinking, well, hey, what's going on? But when they figure it out, it'll be figured out because I got money in the bank. That's what a lot of us think, right? But when it comes to her, it's always, as soon as she gets her back against the wall, she gets out here and thinks that she's above everyone. She gets that humble pie. And I was sitting here laughing like, look at this. <laughs> Getting over here telling us that she got uh, her neck on uh, hoes feet, uh, her feet on hoes necks, and she's doing this and she's doing that. 
Girl, I don't see anybody out here that you're doing too much better than. To me, you're living paycheck to paycheck, or as we can say, social media uh, payout to social media payout. You're sitting over here in the meantime trying to come up with bundles, and nobody wants to talk to you at 5 o'clock in the morning. Nobody wants to talk to you at 10 o'clock at night. Your husband don't want to deal with you during the day. Y'all seem to bond only when y'all at the casino, and that's when he come over and say, run me that ATM card because I lost and I want some more money. This stuff is crazy. And I see a lot of people saying, well, girl, weren't you supposed to be done with the gambling? Weren't you supposed to give it up? Now you full fledged into it. And you out here talking about, I've been at the casino all day and I'm finally winning and I'm this, I'm that. Just like I told y'all when she said she stopped gambling, she stopped gambling just about as much as Wood stopped drinking. That's why Wood is over there looking the way that he looking. He's looking real rough. Every time she show him on camera, he ain't even got no shave. He ain't got no haircut. His clothes look like he had them on for days. They look stressed out around the neck. He looks sad. He looked tired. He looked like he in some kind of depression mode. But y'all doing better than everybody else. I don't know. I don't know. It just something ain't adding up over there. But we're going to keep talking about it. I wanted to drop this and... Tell y'all, honey, the chosen one finally got humbled now, didn't she? Now she over here looking where she going to rob Peter to pay Paul. Ooh, y'all, I'm going to see what y'all got to say about this in the comments below.